Hello everyone, this is Rock Talk. I'm your host, Ali Sturm, and today we're talking to Rockies pitcher Tyler Matzik. Tyler, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. So where are you this off season? I'm back home. I'm in Mission Viejo, California. That's wonderful. I am very jealous. Love California. Are you up to anything special in the sun? Uh, yeah, just enjoying the nice weather, going outside, um, having a mini summer, and um, yeah, it's great to be home. Mini summer, I'm jealous. It's snowing here now, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> so and then I heard you got engaged recently, too. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, actually, um, we're getting married here this weekend, uh, November 15th. So, yeah, big day is coming up. Well, congratulations on the upcoming wedding, Tyler. I hope that you and your wife have the most beautiful and magical weekend. Thank you. And if it's out in California, I'm sure it will be. Uh, now, getting back to baseball a little bit, we all know that you were a top pick for the Rockies, but you were also committed to go to school at Oregon. Can you walk me through that process? I was in a great, great position. Um, you know, I had really you know, two great options. I could have gone to college, played baseball there, got an education, um, or, you know, started my career and, and started playing for the Rockies. Uh, you know, again, they were both great decisions. I feel like I made the right one. I don't think you could have made a wrong one. Uh, so, you know, I was very happy with my decision and, um, you know, it's, it's worked out pretty well. Well, I think we're all very happy that you made that decision, but I do have to ask, are you still a Ducks fan? Yes, I still still watch the Ducks, still root for them. Um, you no, know, some guys give me give me uh, a little trouble because I didn't actually go there, but you know I, I still root for the Ducks. So this being your first season here in Denver, what did you think of the city? I love it. I love it. It's uh, you know very clean. I'm from LA or LA area. Denver is a beautiful place. Love the mountains. Love the outdoors. Uh, love the little bit of you know funky character that Denver brings. You know, great city. Denver is definitely a wonderful city. So I know you didn't have a lot of off days, but did you have a favorite activity or memory that you did here in Denver during one of those? Um, I feel like the best off day experience I had, I was actually down in Colorado Springs. Um, Bergie and I, Christian Bergman and I went fishing up in the mountains and just had a great, great off day. Um, I caught six fish, he caught zero, so that made it even better. <laughs> and Christian Bergman's from California too, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He is. Oh, well, that's impressive. Six fish, that's, that's really outstanding. <laughs> so this was your rookie season as well. Did you have a highlight of the season? Um, there's probably two. I'd say making my debut, that'll go down as, you know, a very good memory. And uh, I think when I threw my my shutout game. It was my first one of my career and it, it was, you know, on the biggest stage. So I was very, very pleased with that performance. No, a complete game shutout. I think we were all very pleased with that performance. <laughs> and then did you have a Rockies veteran player that you relied on? Yeah, I was actually locker mates with Latroy La Hawkins and, um, you know, he really showed me the ropes, showed me how to go about my business. Uh, he was a great mentor and, and really a guy that I want to do. He got 20, 20 years in the big leagues. He knows what it takes to be there. So he was a great mentor to me, and you know I really appreciate all the, all the mentoring he did for me. Now, LaTroy Hawkins seems like a wonderful individual, and it's great that you have such leadership in the clubhouse. And then for this offseason, what's your schedule like? How are you training? Um... You know, I'm just I work. I'm working out with this guy, uh, just a one-on-one -on -one trainer with me. He's got a program down. You know, I'm feeling really healthy right now, really strong. Uh, just getting ready for the year. Just started throwing last week, so you know everything's feeling good right now. It's about staying healthy and um, you know building up that strong, durable body. And then, do you have a certain focus for this off season? Uh, no, you know. Well, after five years, you, you learn your program and what your body needs to be going into the season. So, um, you know, I, I feel like I have a pretty good program down. All right, Tyler. So this next part is called the Fast Five Questions. I'm asking you five questions okay. pretty dang fast. Yep. So your first question, who is the biggest comedian in the clubhouse? Biggest comedian? I'd probably say Nolan. All right. Taylor Swift or Katy Perry? Uh, i go Taylor Swift. What are you most afraid of? Most afraid of? Uh, failure. What's your favorite food? Uh, pizza. Ugh, completely agree with that answer. Mine too. 
And then, would you rather have one eyeball in the center of your forehead with 20-20 vision, or two eyeballs but be virtually blind? Ooh, I'd rather have one eye with 20-20 vision. Well, it would make reading the corners of the strike zone a bit easier. Everyone, that was Rock Talk. Thank you so much, Tyler, for taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you. I'm your host, Allie Sturm, and make sure you stick around and join us for more Rock Talk coming soon.